As well as our combat readiness, Talisman Sabre tests our interoperability. We have worked very hard over the years to make sure that we train together as much as possible here and overseas to ensure that our equipment is interoperable, our, our standard operating procedures, and also our people know each other and they know how we operate. So we've had many, many decades of experience of working together and we are almost seamlessly interoperable today. Because we train together, because we operate together, because we come back together, do our critical debriefs together, are honest with each other, that's that complete integration that we're talking about with something like the Joint Strike Fighter. By 2023, the Australian Defence Force will integrate at least 72 F-35 Joint Strike Fighters. It's a huge undertaking, but for many, the big investment in the program is nothing compared to the value it offers to our Defence Force and national security. I wish there was more, you know, we could tell Australians about how good it is. It's the best aircraft in the world and it's the right decision. I'm an Army person, I watch every dollar that goes into the Air Force and the Navy with great caution, great suspicion sometimes. But this thing is more than just a set of wings and an engine, this is a node that will move data and, and provide what I call machine assistance to pilots in a way that we just haven't seen before. Well, the fifth generation Lockheed Martin F-35 is the world's uh, most technological aircraft out there with a fighter. Uh, it also has uh, unmatched capability, whether you're talking low observability or data distribution, as well as uh, fusion of sensors and it is absolutely going to be a game changer for the Royal Australian Air Force and it will give them a transformational air capability and air fighting capability that will be bar none along with the interoperability across all the sovereign nations that we're partnered with and the US. How important is Lockheed Martin's Joint Strike Fighter? The Joint Strike Fighter is a great example of the new partnerships that Australia is uh, engaging in around the world. The Joint Strike Fighter, again, is a partnership with the United States and a number of other countries. And Australia, 50 Australian companies are now in the global supply chain for the Joint Strike Fighter. So that's about $1.7 billion worth of uh, revenue. Yes. And that is growing. But it, it is a step change, isn't it, in uh, interoperability? It is, it, you know, that fifth generation it is, and we are moving to fifth generation technologies across the board, including in maritime and uh, now in, in land as well. So that is a step change for Australia, and again, the access that we have to American technology and American development projects cannot be uh, underestimated, but again, increasingly Australia is offering the United States and the rest of the world uh, a lot in return in terms of our own industrial smarts. The ADF, and, the, and particularly the Royal Australian Air Force, is well on its way to becoming the world's first uh, fully fifth generational Air Force. That's an astonishing feat. The Joint Strike Fighter is an integral piece of that, and because we have that level of interoperability and integration between the US and, and, and America, uh, we're going to be able to just slide right in, uh, you know, operationally. The extraordinary interoperability of the F-35 program is taking trust in the Alliance to new and different heights. It's critical to the Alliance, so that trust between the two nations is really what provides us the opportunity to share the technical capabilities we have, to talk about the threats we have to deal with, and to share the information, even on the research level, which is critical. That also builds ability for us to work that with defense partners down here, with the industry, uh, with the defense forces obviously, but understand what is needed in country and to develop that as we need to and expand it. And then also transfer that capability and that know-how so that somebody can maintain this in the future. 